Hello everybody. I wanted to come and read you one of my very favorite stories. It's called You're Here for a Reason by Nancy Tillman. You're here for a reason. You certainly are. The world would be different without you by far. If not for your hands and your eyes and your feet, the world, like a puzzle, would be incomplete. See the elephant? Even the smallest of things that you do blossom and multiply far beyond you. There's the elephant again. A kindness, for instance, may triple for days or set things in motion in different ways. It travels much farther than you'll ever know. Under the treetops, there's the trees. Over the snow. Till it's wandered. See the moose? The moose is wandering. And fluttered. The bird fluttering. And floated. Oh, you see the otter floating. And twirled. Making things happen all over the world. You're here for a reason. It's totally true. You're part of a world that is counting on you. So don't be too worried if some days fall flat. Good things can happen even from that. Life can be tricky, there isn't a doubt. You'll skin your knees trying to figure it out. But life works together, the good and the bad, the silly and awful and the happy and sad. To paint a big picture we can't always see, a picture that needs you most definitely. Remember that next time a day goes all wrong. There's a giraffe going uphill and the boy pushing him. To somebody else, you will always be strong. Carrying that panda bear. And that ball that you lose or that kite you let go can make someone's day. You just never know. You're here for a reason if you think you're not. I would just say that perhaps you forgot. A piece of the world that is precious and dear would surely be missing if you weren't here. If not for your smile and your laugh and your heart, this place we call home would be minus a part. That, thank goodness you're here, thank goodness, times two. Look at all of those that are there enjoying life together. I just can't imagine a world without you. And remember, you are love.